Hi guys, welcome to my channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure TestNG in a Maven project of Selenium. So before it's late, let's get started. I hope all of you remember in the last video, I have already explained to you how to configure the TestNG in the Java project. As a part of this video, I'm going to teach the same thing but in the Maven project. So allow me to share my screen. Look at my Eclipse, guys. Once your Eclipse is ready and open, you can go to File, New, and click on Project. Once you are here, don't click on Java project, but go for a Maven project. Once you see Maven, go to Maven project and click on the Next button. Click on the Next button again. Click on the Filter text field. Once you click, Probably you will see all the group ID, uh, artifact ID and version will start coming. Give it 10, 20 seconds of time probably, right? Like this, all options will come. Now you have to type for Maven hyphen R type A-R-C-H-E-T-Y-P-E hyphen. Now you have to type for quick start. Once you type quick start, you will see one option, which is version is 1.4. This is the one that you guys have to configure. So make sure that you guys are typing only this name here, which is called as Maven Archetype Quick Start version 1.4. Now, once you select this, click on the next button. Once you are done, it will ask you group ID, artifact ID, Feel free to provide it because these are just your package name and the project name. Once I'm giving you, I'll show you again. Please don't worry. So I'm giving the name as, let's say, uh, I can give anything. Let's say I'm giving Selenium 1. And here I'm giving Maven Selenium. Once you are done, click on the Finish button. Once you are done till here, you got the Maven project ready here. Once you are done, guys, you can click on this pom.xml. Once you open this pom.xml, you can see here a lot of dependencies. As of now, you can see only one dependencies. And the name of the dependency is JUnit version 4.11. But now you have to add some dependency. As you guys know, you have created the Selenium project. That means you have to work on Selenium. As you guys know, to work with Selenium, the one thing that is mandatory is called as Selenium jar, right? So what do you guys have to do? So go to the browser. Go for google.com and look for Maven repository. Please remember this uh, website name called as mavenrepository.com and search here for Selenium. Now click on the first one. Once you go here, you can see all the versions are present here. You can download the version that you are looking for. So this is not the one, this is the one, right? You can also verify this from a beautiful website called as selenium.dev. This is the official website of Selenium. Once you open this, you can go to downloads. Mm -hmm. Once after coming to downloads, you can uh, click on, no need to click anywhere, just see where is downloads Selenium server present. So Selenium version you have 4.16.1. 4.16.1 is the latest version available. You can click on this and whatever the dependency that you get here, Maven 1, right? Hope you guys are able to see. I'm checking the Maven dependency only. You guys have to just copy this much of line. That's all. How to copy this? Just click on this. Select all, do control C, copy, come back here. This much of dependency is already added. You cannot touch it. 
just come at uh, at the last and press enter and do control v paste it once after pasting it you can do control s once you do control s you can see here download is happening it is configured now you have configured your selenium jar right if you have configured your selenium jar that means your selenium should start running now right let's test it once how to test it just create a class any class i'm still i'm again giving my name you can give your name not a problem once after giving your name you can add a main method and after adding your main method let's launch browser i'm trying to launch my chrome browser so chrome driver driver is equals to new chrome driver once writing this much you can hover over chrome driver it should give you the import option if it is giving you import option then congratulations it should launch your empty browser let's check and yes it is launching my empty browser that means yes i have configured my selenium into my maven project but if you remember my our agenda was not to configure the selenium uh, only our agenda was to the main purpose of this video was not to just download a configured selenium into your maven project but job was to configure the test engine so search for the test engine and guys you can uh, look for the second last version that is available here which is called a 7.8.0 it is considered as the stable version of the test engine as of now so you can click on this and again you can see the dependency under maven so you can again copy this six lines of code completely once copied again you can come back to your uh, dependencies in which you have added one dependency you have added second dependency now go for the third dependency once after adding you have to do Control s once you do control s again it has downloaded uh, i'm not sure if you guys really noticed whether it downloaded or not to make sure it is really downloading you guys can always keep your eye on the extreme right bottom of your screen there you will see the download option right there you will see that file is getting downloaded right now i have configured your uh, test ng in your maven project so what i will do now I'll create one more class under this package. This time I'm going to my I'm going to give my class name as O N E one, and uh, as you guys already know now that any test ng class should have at the rate of test annotation. So I have added it, and after that you have to add your method name, not the main method, but any method, right? Access specifier I have written as public. I'm selecting as a non-static uh, modifier, return type as void, and let's say the method name is launch. Launch what? Let's say browser, right? So I, I, I'm done. Now, what you guys do, you can now hover over at the rate of test. Once you hover over at the rate of test, it can tell you the issue, right? I hope you guys remember when I showed you the same thing in my uh, Java project. I hope you guys remember there I went to the build path and I added the library. That's what it is telling me that, hey, libraries are not yet added. So you please click on, right click on your project, go to build path, add library, test ng, next and finish. Once you do this, you can hover over at the rate of test. Now it will give you import option. Just do this. Print your name here. Let's say your name is Ram and run the class. Once you run the class, it will give you one run, one pass. This is how you configure your test ng in the Maven project. I hope you found this video useful. In case yes, please give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel, Software Testing Bank KT, and please share this video with your needy friends. 
See you in another video. Thank you so much.